Hi everyone, welcome back. This is part four of the case slot series. There will be a total of five parts and at the end of the fifth one, which will be released next Saturday, um, I'll go over kind of the spiel of my experience, this whole thing, as well as, you know, what has actually sold up until now, um, if everything's listed and all of that kind of information. Um, just as a reminder, I paid $888 for all of these items, all these cases together. And I think last week we left off at a potential profit of $1,410. So let's go ahead and get started and see what we can find this week. So I have tried, tried to pile a bunch of the rest of the clothing on top. There is still a basket underneath that I need to grab, but we're gonna go through what's on top first so it doesn't start falling over. And right off the bat, I see these Reebok pants. They're men's pants. And Reebok's not something, like I mentioned before, I'd really sell. This tag is interesting to me though because it looks like it's vintage, but it looks brand new. Like, you know what I mean? So I doubt it's vintage. It might just be kind of the feel that they're going for. It is a rather small size. So it might just be something that I take to a buy sell trade. Right next is more Under Armour, which we've had a ton of. And again, Under Armour is not something that I love picking up. This one does have the logo hit right here, which is better than nothing. They do look a little bit faded and they are on the smaller size. They honestly look like a boy's size to me. So more than likely these will go to a buy sell trade as well. And next up are these REI men's shorts. They look like just a basic pair of kind of outdoor shorts for hiking. REI isn't too great. They have great quality items. They just don't resell for too much. They have some interesting pockets here on the back. And I will try to go ahead and resell these just because they look to be in really good condition and I like the green pop of color, but they'll only go for about 15. We have another Under Armour hoodie. I don't mind this one. This one seems to be a lot better quality some, than some of the other ones we've gone through. Let's see what the size is. Hopefully it's, it's a large, so that's a lot better, but still won't get but about 15 to $20 for this pair of men's dress pants, Perry Ellis, um, and they're pretty tiny looking. Um, these are a nice pair of men's uh, dress pants, but it's not something that I'm interested in reselling, so this will be going to a buy-sell trade. It's like a pair of Dickies. These feel like they're in brand new condition. They still feel almost like, I don't know, they've been starched. There actually is some staying here, so I guess they're not brand new. If that comes out, then I will resell them myself. I'll probably get about $10, $15. But a lot of people that work in the fast food industry buy these a lot. I used to work at Tilly's and we sold a ton of these all the time. They just don't go for too much. Another denim and flowers item. This is another one that I will just take to a buy sell trade instead of trying to sell myself. Right, I'm seeing another Under Armour hoodie. And I really like this color. However, there is, it's just destroyed. So this will just get redonated. I won't be taking this Aww. anymore. Next up is just a basic Reebok shirt. Um, it's a nice color blue. It's that kind of dry fit material. I will not be reselling this myself though, by sell trade. And then next is a pair of Billabong swim trunks. Um, I really like this color and kind of the wash. This is Billasong, Billabong, Billabong Recycler all day. So I'm assuming they're probably made out of recycled material, which is cool. I will resell these myself just because it's a great season for them, but they're only gonna go for probably about $15. Like another pair of dress pants, uh, Bar 3, which is generally a women's brand. These kind of look like men's. Um, either way, these will be going to a buy sell trade. Next is a fun looking Hawaiian shirt. The brand is the Poolside. Oh, it's by Scotch and Soda. So Scotch and Soda can do well. They're kind of their items are kind of hit and miss, but I've never heard. Of 
but I've never heard of the pool sign. So I am gonna look that up really quick and see if maybe it's something special that Scott and Soda does. So it looks like they do about $30, which is pretty decent for the button ups. If you right here, this one's brand new. I'm assuming new without tags because they don't have it tagged as new, but it sold for $50, so that's really good. I'll definitely be selling this one myself. Next is another hoodie, Adidas. Let's see if this men's or women's. I'm assuming this is a women's because it is a large and it's pretty small. This was a men's large. I'll sell this myself. It's only gonna get about 20 bucks. Next is this Ben Sherman polo. And I believe Ben Sherman is a golf brand. I'm gonna look it up really quick, but I believe it is. I'm not sure how well the pieces sell though. So the comps don't look like they're too great. It's only about $15 if I'm lucky. So I think I will try to take this to a buy sell trade and if they don't take it, I may list it myself and if it can flip pretty fast, that's great. If not, we'll probably just donate it. In Cotex, in Cotex, I have never heard of this brand. Um, this is the label, it's kind of hard to read. So I'll try to pop up the spelling on the screen if it doesn't pick it up good enough. I have never heard of these, this brand, but these pants are really interesting. They have like a tonal paisley print throughout. So I am gonna look them up really quick to see. So comps look pretty good. They look at at least 35 of the lowest. Most of them are just solid color and these are a little bit more specialized with the really pretty pattern on it. So I think I'd be able to get at least 40 for the, these. So that's great, kind of a, a new bolo or a brand to just keep your eye out on. In Kotex, I'm probably saying that completely wrong. So I'm gonna say this feels like another pair of Dickies. So these do not feel like they're in quite the same shape. And these are designed a little bit different. So depending on the style, whenever I look it up, it's a skinny straight. I may sell them myself, but these also may just go to a buy sell trade. Kind of to be determined on these. Next is a Nike golf shirt. It is a women's shirt. I've only ever sold Nike Golf men's shirts and they don't go for a ton, about $20, $25, depending on the style, but they usually go really fast. Uh, the pants, the men's golf pants, are my favorite to sell, but I will definitely try out the women's shirt to see if it can flip for just as fast. But I'd still only guess about $15, $20 on it. These are pretty cool. These are Nike Pro uh, leggings or tights. They are the crop variation, so they won't go for as much. But with the Nike Pro leggings, the pattern means a lot. Some go for way more than others. Some you only get $15 for. So given that this is kind of more of a unique style, it may go for a little bit more. Either way, I'm gonna list it. But just to be safe, I'm gonna say I'll get about $20 for it. And then next are another pair of Splim Trunks. They are Quicksilver and I'm, what I may end up doing since I'm coming across a couple different Quicksilver and Billabong swim trunks, I may lock them all together if they are the same size. Uh, if not, I will do them separately. Again, luckily it is the summertime, so hopefully these will at least slip for fast, but only about $15. But these look to be really in great condition, so. Uh, so another pair of Dickies, but these are a blue pair. Um, I'm not sure if I've really come across this color before. Uh, it does have a hole here. So these are just going to end up going to donation just because the buy sell trade store is not gonna take these and they're not really worth me reselling. Denim and flowers. Um, I'm hesitating on this one because the pattern is something I feel like people look for, that not a pool print, the sailboats. And as long as there's no stains on here, I think I will try to sell this one. Just because, so Denim and Flowers, as I mentioned in the last video, they're known for their, their patterns and they're a little bit more eclectic, louder style. So I may give this one a go, but 
you know, 10, $15 probably max I'll get for it. So I'm not sure if this is men's or women's, but the brand is, I cannot say it. So it's play, but if you look at this right here, the Comme des Gar... I do not know how to say this. <laughs> I'll pop it up on the, the screen, but I'm sure you guys have seen this brand. Um, it can do really well. I'm gonna look it up right now. I've never, never heard of like a play, I guess, collection, but I am very curious and I really hope there's no stains on here because this could be an exciting piece, but let's look it up. So I can't find this exact one. I found one similar to it, but black. And let's see, I'm showing, I think it is a women's, but it should sell for at least $45. So that's great, four into 45. I wish there was more pieces like this. So these are Massimo Dutti, I believe is how you say it. Um, these, this is a women's brand, I believe. I've never seen or found men's clothing with this brand. Um, and these can do pretty well. I've never sold pants. I've only ever sold the shirt. But this style looks, it's, it's Italian yarn made in Morocco. So those are positives. I would say probably about $30 for these. Next is a kind of patchwork flannel. This is cute. From the brand is Penfield. I've never heard of that brand, so of course we're gonna look it up. But I really like the patchwork and the mixture of the flannels here. So the comps look kind of all over the place, but for this piece, given the style, I'd say about $25. Which honestly, I thought it would be more. See the back is also, has the patchwork going on, which is a great keyword. Right. Next looks like another new tag Nike piece. So it's just sort of a basic tank, but it has these little cutouts here, which is fun. Um, this, you know, the um, suggested retail is $35, but I'll probably only get about $15 for this, and that's even with it being new with tag. Okay, next is another Nike. So these are women's pants. They look like a Capri. So Capri styles are not my favorite to sell, but it being Nike, Nike it will flip for me pretty fast, but not for a ton. I'll probably get 15, $20 for these. Looks like another Nike tank. This is kind of more of an older style. I might see if the buy, sell, trade will take this. If not, I might lot this up with some of the other Nike tanks that we have already come across. Because on its own, it probably would take forever to sell just because it's an older style. And it would probably only sell for about $10. All right, I see the Adidas logo yelling at me. So let's go ahead and pull this one out. So this one's interesting. This is a sweater shirt. The arms are cut off, but into a short sleeve. And I believe it is, okay, yes, it's intentional. It wasn't done by someone else. Um, I'm not sure if this is men's or women's. It says a medium. I feel like the style is women's, but the sizing tells me it's men's. Anywho, I would definitely be selling this myself and will probably get about $25 for it. This looks like another Adidas. Yep, these are some women's leggings with the three stripes down the side. This maroon color is a patch at the bottom. The brand, what does it say? The brand with the, th oh, the brand with the three stripes. I've never seen that patch before. Hopefully that means it's a little bit more, uh, worth a little bit more than most uh, Adidas leggings. But of course I would sell these myself. And if that isn't anything too special, they'll probably sell for about 20 bucks. As I'm uncovering more and more stuff, I keep seeing certain labels that I just want to grab. And one of those is Pendleton. And Pendleton is a brand that I love to sell, especially a thick flannel like this. This is definitely men's. And 
hopefully all the buttons are there. All the buttons are there. And Pendleton goes for, these probably only go for about $25, $30. Uh, let's see, is it wool? Nope, it's cotton. So yeah, about $25, $30. Their wool items are obviously, you know, the best and they will go for a lot more, but Pendleton is always a great find. And then the next item that is screaming at me because I see the tag is this one, Lululemon. And Lululemon almost never has their tag, so it's funny that this is even popping out. So let's see if it is a men's or a women's. This is a men's. Oh no. Well, it has some other some other company's uh, branding on it, which is a bummer. So I'm not even sure if I'd be able to resell this. Does anyone want a shirt that says Alloy Therapeutics? That's a big bummer. Um, I may look it up. I don't know, can you take these out? Maybe I'll try to take it off? I don't know. I will probably just donate this. I'm not sure if anyone's going to want to buy it with that logo. Bummer. Great. Found another new tag item. It is a very itty bitty, tiny little bra, but it is new with tags, which is always great. And the resale value or the retail value is only $25, which is not ideal, but I will always take a new with tag item. This will probably only go for about $10 or $15 though. Next up is an Adidas jacket. So I do love a full zip jacket. I much prefer those than the half zip or the one fourth zips. They just tend to sell a lot better. So this one, the pattern is nice. If you can see it, it's not just a solid gray. It has a little bit of texture to it. And also the hood is lined in a uh, like reflective. So those are just small little details that could make this worth a little bit more, not too, too much. It looks like a women's, judging by the fit. It's a size small, so I do believe it's a women's. It'll probably go for about $30. Right, what is this? Oh, it's All Saints. So that's not bad. All Saints, I really wish it reselled for the retail value because that would be amazing. This looks like it is a jumpsuit, strapless jumpsuit. And if I had to guess how much I think it'd go for, it'd probably be about $30 to $40. Uh, jumpsuits can generally do pretty well. Unfortunately, like I said, All Saints just does not hold the value if it's not their your, their, uh, the leather biker jackets, those do still go for a ton of money, about $300. So if you do find those for a great price, definitely pick them up. Next, it looks like a pair of women's, I think, women's Nike track pants. And this red color, there does look like there is a little, there's a hole right here, some staining right here, which is unfortunate. These are tiny. I'm pretty sure these are women's. If that staining comes out, I still might try to resell it myself just because that that little rip right there, that little hole is not too crazy. And with the color and the style, I think it still could do pretty well, but I'll probably only get about $15 for it. But next is another Nike. It's like a women's sweater. This is just pretty basic. Uh, oh, it's just lint. Uh, pretty basic sweater, only get about $15, $20, maybe if it's kind of a special thing. The short escort. Why is it so tiny? I feel like this is like my daughter's size. I'm not sure this is like a one. <laughs> okay, it just says small. I don't know. I'll have to look up. If you didn't know, you can look up the Nike style. If you look behind the tag, there is a label and then this eight number, that number is gonna be your style number. So if you just go to Google, type in Nike and then type in that entire code, 
Um, it'll tell you what the style is. So I'll do that for these to see if they look like a elementary school like cheer score to me, but we'll see. Um, either way, I will sell these myself. Uh, scores are kind of in right now, so I'll probably get about $15, $20 for them. Next, looks like another new attack item. So a couple more new attack items, more than last time. I feel like last time we got one maybe. And this is a Nike long sleeve tee. It has a little bit of this like texture in the back. Let's see. The suggested retail is 50, which means more than likely I only get about 25 for it. Um, just I guess a general rule of thumb for most things is you'll probably get about 50% of the retail value if you resell it and it's still new with tags. Another one, they just kind of lauded all the new tag items together, I guess. So this is another new tag Nike item. The retail was $45. And it is a women's long sleeve. Gray. Probably get about $20 for this. So I love selling Nike. Uh, new tags is even better. Again, Nike doesn't sell for a ton unless it's a specialized or more substantial piece, but it usually sells pretty fast. All right next is some sort of sweater or cardigan. Autumn cashmere. Is this new a tag or? So this has a tag on it. I'm not sure it's from the brand. Um, Autumn cashmere does not generally do too well. Let's see if there's even a tag on here that says if it's cashmere. So it's 30% cashmere, 25% merino wool, 30%. So it's not even 100% cashmere. It's like a card, little cardigan. Um, I might just try to take this to the buy sell trade. Autumn cashmere doesn't do too well. If I do try to sell it, I'll probably only get about twenty dollars for it. Right, next looks like a men's button up. 1901. I'll look that up. I've never heard of that brand before. So it looks like this is a brand that is sold at Nordstrom's and it doesn't resell for much for about 10 or $15. So I'll just be taking this to a buy sell trade. Right, next looks like a lucky brand. These look like men's. Men's chino pants. I don't think I've ever sold Lucky Brand chino pants for men's, or maybe they're women's. Looks like someone might have cut them, or they were made that way. I'm not sure. So if you look right here, this is kind of coming apart, which is usually the telltale sign that someone cut them themselves, but I am not sure. So I'll have to look those up. The bottoms look like women's to me, but these look like men's. Hold on. All right, it's a men's, so it's size 34. I'm like 90% sure these are men's. Um, there is a style number right here, so I will end up looking these up. And de depending on what the images I get after I look it up, if those are cut off by someone else, I'll just be taking them to the buy, sell, trade. If that is how they come and how they're made, then I will try to relist them myself. Um, I'm gonna guess up only about $20, $25 for these, if I end up with them. So these are um, Nike's, Nike tights or Nike leggings, but they have the Peloton logo. And I'm not sure I've ever sold the collab with them. I would guess probably only about $25 for these. Um, Peloton, I'm not sure it's doing as well as it used to, but either way, I'll definitely get these listed. This is a fun color. Um, I did see this kind of peeping out earlier. I was hoping it was leggings but it's a sports bra and it is Nike. So it has some like light staining, but I think that'll come out in the wash. I am not sure, it's a size small. So, I mean, this is a really fun piece. Uh, it's not gonna go for much, about $15, but it's unique, so it should go pretty fast. Right, another Nike item. This is just a woman's basic t-shirt. Again, more than likely, I'll probably lock some of these Nike pieces up together. And another pair of Nike. So these are shorts. These are for sure, kids. Um, I'll still relist them, but I'll probably only get about $10 for them. 
Right. Another pair of Nike. These are kind of fun, a little unique. So these are Nike track pants and joggers. <laughs> they are size small, but they look like they're in pretty good condition. And these will probably get go for about, oh, and they do have a little bit of wear here. So my sweater shaver may be able to take that up. If not, I'll probably only get about 15 for them. Um, so this is a pair of men's Under Armour shorts, but they have some kind of initials here, which more than likely is a school. So I will be taking these to the buy, sell, trade, or just donating them. Aww. Just because in general, these aren't gonna sell for much, even if they didn't have it on there, but them having that kind of logo or the lettering on it is gonna bring down the value, unfortunately. Right, another Under Armour. This is a men's long sleeve tee. Townsend University. I think I did not find shorts in the last video. I think we're Townsend University. <laughs> Maybe we'll pair them together and sell them as a set. If not, these will probably just get donated. I've never heard of Townsend University. Aww. Okay, we have another denim and flowers. And this one's new with tag. That's a plus. Um, so this being new with tag, I'll definitely resell it myself. I'm not sure what they go for new with tags, but again, this is a very basic pattern or print for the brand. Just to be safe, I'll say $20. So our pair of Nike women's track pants or sweatpants. And the logo is fun, which I always like. I feel like those pieces usually do pretty well. They are a size extra small, but I should still be able to get about $20, $25 for these. I see a new with tag. Um, this looks like a polo, but it's not. It's French Connection. It is a men's men's sweater. Um, French Connection is not a brand that I would pick up. Um, however, being new with tag, I might go ahead and list it, but we'll probably only get about $20 for it. Right, another men's Under Armour shorts. So these have markings or stains all over them. So these will just be going into the donation pile. Aww. Next up are a pair of men's shorts. They have that nautical theme, right? It's Brooks Brothers, which I've never sold Brooks Brothers shorts before. I think with the nautical theme and the pattern, I will go ahead and give these a try myself. But if I had to guess, it'd probably be only about 15, $20. Um, hopefully I'm wrong, but let's be on the safe side. All right, next, this one's trying to fall off. Okay, this is a women's cropped Adidas shirt. So this style is very much in right now. It does have a little pull right here, which isn't a big deal. I can't tell if this is supposed to be white or gray. If it's white, it looks a little dingy. Um, but we'll give this a wash and see how it looks under my studio lights where I take pictures because that those Aww. lights just show everything. Right, next looks like another polo. So this is new with tag. This is Cutter and Buck, another brand that I would not generally pick up. Tag's a little bent out of shape, but it being new with tags, wait a minute. Okay, I don't know about it anymore. <laughs> These dang logos are like people adding their logos. Um, but this may just be getting donated, but we'll see. If I look it up and find anything interesting, we'll pop it up in the video. Right. Next looks like a pair of Nike shorts. So these are just women's running shorts. They look like they're in pretty good condition. They do have the liner inside. These will probably go for about, about $15. So our pair of Adidas, looks like bi bicycle shorts. Um, tech fit. So medium compression, yeah, these are bicycle shorts. Um, I'd probably say only about $15 for these. So here's another pair of Nike Pro leggings. These are pretty basic black. These are the crop version too. And on the back, they do have a little bit of tonal striping, but pretty pretty basic these will probably only go for about 10 or 15 dollars 
pants. There's nothing very much special about them. All right, next looks like a men's button up. Mark Anthony, this will be, I guess I'll try the buy, sell, trade, but they probably won't take it. Um, I think I've tried this brand once before and it took forever to sell and I think it sold for about $10. So this will either go to the buy, sell, trade. If they don't want it, it'll get donated. Next looks like men's night or Adidas track pants. This logo is, it's worn, right? It's not, I don't think it's supposed to look like that. Very crackled. Um, and there's some pulling here. Yeah, these are gonna go to a buy, sell, trade, and if they don't want them, they'll get donated. There's just a little too much wear for me to wanna put time and effort into reselling them. Right, another pair of Adidas pants. Hopefully these are in better condition. I believe these are men's. It's a tiny pull here. This material just seems to pull really easily. Yeah, these may just go to the buy, sell, trade. Again, because this style isn't gonna go for a lot anyways, and then with any kind of damage to it, it's just gonna make it all that more harder to sell. So buy, sell, trade. All right, another pair of Adidas. Are these men's or women's? Hmm, I think they're like women's. Like wide leg capris? I'm not really sure. I don't think I've seen this style before. They look to be in pretty good condition, so whether they're men's or women's, I'll probably go ahead and try to sell them for probably about $15, $10-$15. A pair of women's Adidas leggings. These are very lightweight. Um, these will probably only go for about $10 or $15. I do feel like I found another pair very similar to these, maybe only in black. And if that is the case, I'll just pair them together. Because otherwise they're only gonna go for, like I said, about 10 or $15. Pretty color though. Speaking of pretty colors, so this is an Adidas women's shirt. There is some staining down here, unfortunately. I'm hoping that's just makeup and that will come off. If it doesn't come off, or yeah, if it doesn't come off, I'll donate it. If not, I will go ahead and list it. Um, I'll bundle it with some of the other Adidas shirts, because otherwise it would only sell for $10 max, but it is a really pretty color. And yet another pair of Adidas pants. These look like men's. They look the same style as before. Hopefully there's no pulling on here. So far, so good. These look like they're in much better condition. So I will, as long as I don't find anything else, I will go ahead and list these, probably about $10, $15. Right, next is a, an Adidas women's tank. Uh, again, this is just an item that I will probably pair with the other Adidas shirts on their own. They don't go for a lot, but I'm hoping I can kind of lot a lot of these together and just sell them as a bundle. Next is another pair of Adidas leggings. These are women's Capri style. Probably only get about $15 for these. The condition looks really good. Just the Capri styles don't generally go for too much. Adidas yet again. I think these are women's track pants. So these are embroidered instead of just the pattern or the print, which is good because that means it won't flake off. So I will list these myself for about, probably about 15, 20. Adidas Pure Motion. This looks like a women's golf polo, but I'm not sure. I haven't heard of a, the Pure Motion. Yep, it's Adidas Golf. So this is just a women's golf tee. It's a really pretty color blue. So I think this will actually sell really fast, uh, but probably for only about $15. Next are these shorts. So these are Adidas shorts and they do have a school logo on them. However, they are a much more known school logo. So I will sell these myself, uh, but they will probably only sell for about $15. Next is just an Adidas basic tee. It is again an older style that I will lock together with the other Adidas shirts. 
Next is another pair of Nike shorts. So these are just your standard Nike running shorts. Um, nothing too special about these. They do have the liner, but they probably only will go for about $10. Next is another Nike piece, and this is just a basic tee that I'll just lot together. I feel like a broken record, I keep saying that, but a lot of these Nike tees and Nike or Adidas tees, I'll end up just lotting together because they're just not worth it on their own. But if they're a little bit more substantial than I will try to do them on their own. Like in the last video, there was an Adidas uh, shirt that had the floral print on it. And that can do well on its own, so I will do it that way. Next is another Nike sweater. So this is kind of what I mean about a little bit more substantial. This is a sweater, not just a tee, but I will list it on its own. I have no idea what this little pattern logo means, but I will list this one on its own and it'll probably go for about 25, 30. A Nike tee. So this is just literally a basic white tee. It'll just get lotted up. Another Nike piece. This is a hood, has a hoodie. This is zip. I think it's this little pocket. Hmm. Little pocket right there. Uh, this one I will list by itself, even though it is a little bit basic, but I'll still get about $20 for it. All right, this is where we're gonna wrap it up for this week. We are leaving off with a potential profit of $2,380. So a couple more hundred dollars from last week, which is great. There's only gonna be one more video to this series, which as I mentioned, will release next Saturday. So again, I'm very excited to see this kind of experience come to an end. It's been a very long one. Um, I have learned quite a few things. And again, I will talk about that a little bit more in depth on next week's video and on the last video. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this series and have at least learned, you know, maybe a couple of new brands, maybe try to decide if, you know, buying cases are, are the right thing for you and your business. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.